Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you how to encrypt and password protect an external USB drive. This could be an external hard drive plugged in uh, to a USB port, or it could be a simple small plastic uh, flash drive um, plugged into a USB port, basically any external drive. Um, so why would you want to do this? Uh, it's pretty simple. It's, it's for your security. You don't want to put some uh, sensitive information on a drive and then perhaps lose that drive. Someone else picks it up and sticks it into a computer. You don't want your information to immediately pop up and be exposed to uh, someone else. So the safe thing to do is password protect it, encrypt it, and then as long as you use a complex password, uh, your data will be safe even if it's lo lost. So anyway, um, here is an external 8 gigabyte thumb drive that I've plugged in. Uh, to do this, it's very simple. Go to Spotlight and type Disk Utility. And this is the standard Disk Utility application that you'll find on any Macintosh, basically. Um, on the upper left, you'll see the internal drive of the computer. It says internal. This is a MacBook Air with 120 gig SSD uh, internal drive. And then under external, it shows a Sony drive, a USB drive. I, I know this is uh, 8 gig, so you can verify it. 7.8 gig, you can tell that that's the drive we're looking at. So the first entry here, you can see how this kind of collapses, is the drive itself as a whole. And then any volumes, formatted volumes uh, for the drive are underneath. So what we want to do is format the drive as a whole. So you want to click on the top entry. Now go up to Erase. And the trick to this whole thing is right here where it says Format. Um, if you click down, what you want is to choose one of the encrypted formats. Now this is a machine with El Capitan on it, so the standard format is OS X Extended. Um, if you are using a newer OS, such as High Sierra or Mojave or even later than that, um, you will be using the AFPS um, format, so you'll see AFPS uh, encrypted. Um, but in this case, we'll choose OS X Extended Encrypted. This screen comes up. Now here's where you want to type a, a password, as complex a password as possible. And a password hint if you want. Um, if you don't need one, I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, you don't really want to give people a clue as to what the password could be. So now I'll click Choose. Now I'll click Erase. Now this takes a few minutes. Uh, it can take longer depending on how big the drive is. So uh, I will uh, edit this section out of the video and come back to you in a minute. All right, so now the process is complete. As you can see, it says erase process complete. Press done to continue. I'll click done. It's mounted the new encrypted drive on the desktop there. So now we can close out of disk utility and the test of this is basically to disconnect the drive and then plug it back in. Technically, you should drag it to the trash. I don't really bother. Um, so now I'll enter the password. It prompts us for the password. And there you have it. There's your encrypted drive. So anything you drag onto here um, will be encrypted and uh, password protected the next time you remove the drive and, and plug it back into the computer. So a very nice, simple um, solution uh, for security's sake. Um, it doesn't really slow the drive down, which is nice. Sometimes people worry that, oh, if I encrypt it, it'll you know, take way longer to move files. That doesn't really tend to be the case. Uh, very, very quick once you've entered the password. So anyway, hope that helps. Um, if it did, please subscribe to me on YouTube or visit my website at rdklinc.com. Thanks for watching.